up guys so I received the uh, ice ice river KSO this is not a pro one the one that was uh, that I told you about that I got from eBay that's broken so I, I plugged it in turned it on the lights in the front turn on I got it off right now and it looks like it's operating but the only thing that I saw they also the, the person also said that um that the issue is the um the ethernet cape uh port he thinks it you know he's he says that it's not working so I, when I turned it on I didn't see any lights on so something's obviously wrong with the e ethernet portion of it something inside so I'm going to have to open this up and see what's up so I'm going to do that right now so okay I well, I removed the back, the back and the front panel, took the screws off. I just got to pop it open. But I thought about something. So I'm going to try. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to hook it up to this um, from the USB-C that it has. And it, and this is an uh, Ethernet port. Maybe it'll work. I don't know because I don't know how the software runs on this. But let's see if that would connect. You know. So I just thought about it after I opened it you know remove those two panels so I would just hook this up to here like that and then hooked up hook up the Ethernet just to see if I don't like I said I don't know if it's going to w actually work because I don't know the software so I'm gonna give this a shot I just gotta hook up the power okay so now I'm just gonna plug it up and see what happens. Okay. I don't think it's gonna work because of the software itself. And I, you know, see how the lights are on and everything. So you can see there. Um, once it boosts up, it starts to blink. Red light stays on because it's, I guess because it means that the Ethernet is not. Maybe this is just a software problem. But I don't see any lights on here. Not that I, not that I, you know, think it's actually going to work because the software probably doesn't, you know, rec would recognize this. Because it's not designed that way. So I think that's going to work. The only real way to find out is by connecting this here. Right, and then see if this one does it. See how the light is blinking there? We got the red light on. That means there's no, I believe, no connection to the ethernet. So, you know, maybe I should just try it on there. You know, just for giggles and see if this one would do anything with this on it. I'll give it a shot. Just to see. Can't do it on this one. This one does not have that USB-C connection. Just looked at it. Oh, they removed that out of this this model. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna open it up and have a look. So I spent uh, quite a few hours uh, messing around with this uh, Ice River KSO. Okay. So what I did was uh, I swapped a chip. Uh, that has to do with the um, Ethernet. I swapped it with the uh, with the the other one that's not working, the um, Ice River KSO Pro, uh, because the Ethernet on this one was working. Okay, so the reason why I swapped it is because one, I didn't, ha I don't have that chip. Obviously, I have to order them, so that's going to take take a little while for me to get it so what I did was order them I ordered five of them five of those chips and uh, I decided to take the one out from that one that's working the, uh, the Ethernet on this one and swap it with that in hopes that it will turn on you know the Ethernet would work okay now it half kind of worked because I believe because I had first when I you know 
when I put the chip on, I put it, I wasn't looking correctly, and I moved the chip, and I ended up putting it wrong. Uh, you know, it was it's supposed to be, it was supposed to have been like straight up the way I had it, so I put it towards the left. I didn't notice that after I soldered, so I had to unsolder it, take it out, create a mess. So I ended up putting it the right way, and so the, which means I had to apply more heat, and I had a hard time getting it out. And I would say, and I would told myself I'm probably gonna end up damaging this damn thing because I had a hard time getting it out. So I, when I finally did it. I turned it on, so I'm going to show you what happens. So it partially works. Okay, power it up. So, okay, you see that? Partially, because one light turns on, but the other side doesn't turn on. The orange light. The green one is turning on, which was a plus. When I saw it, I was so happy. But I am getting a red light inside it. I don't know what that light means exactly. I, I kind of think it means that there's no connection or maybe not pull or whatever. Okay. Um, but I know that on the running one, I looked inside of that one. The one that's running, there's no red light. You only have two, two blue lights. Okay. And I'm not talking about the one all the way up there. That's just the whether it's connected or not, you know, to to the pool. So that's the one in the front. But this is the one right up there. You see that red light right there? Is that it? Yeah, right there. That red light right on the top there. On the board. There's a red light right on the motherboard. And there's two blue lights on the motherboard itself, but that's fine. Because the other one has the two blue lights running. So, I'm coming to the conclusion that I messed up the chip, burnt it. I looked over it again. I made sure there was connection. I didn't see anything else. You know, I tried over and over again, you know, looking at it. I'm probably going to end up looking at it again. And uh, so, so far it seems to be sort of running, working. But it, it is connected, but it's not fully connected. It's still the orange. So I don't have another one of those chips so I can swap it again and try it because I ordered um, five of them and that's going to take forever to come because they're, they're coming from China and hopefully maybe by two weeks or less I'll probably get it. Who knows? Maybe three weeks I'll probably end up getting it. So I have to put this to the side. But right now I'm, I'm still going to look at it, you know, to see, overlook it and see if I find anything messed up uh, other than what I... What, what I went with. Oh, let me show you the chip. Let me show you the chip because this is the this is the one that's that was on the KS zero that I removed. This is the chip right there, that little tiny chip right there. This is the bad one. So I removed this chip and swapped it with the KSO Pro chip. So this little chip right here, which is the what is it? Um, let me tell you what it is right now. Had to I wrote it down. It's uh wait a minute, I can't even I gotta open this up correctly for me to see it. Alright, it's uh it says IC plus on it. It's a uh IP ten one G A. That's what it is. So that has to do with with the with controlling the Ethernet. And uh, I, you know, I, when I put it in, I, and I saw that light came on, I said, like, "Yes, I fixed it. I think I did." You know, I was like that. Like I think I did because I didn't think I had, but I pretty much halfway fixed it. So I'm going with. I believe I messed the chip up. I might. Have, Put, apply too much heat, maybe partially, but I'm going to check over it, I'm going to check if this this uh, uh, short or whatever, you know, I, I did use the um, the heat, the, this, the, the heat uh, uh, gun here to check, and that chip was heating up, but that, that's normal because I checked the other, the running one, 
and that that heat heat it up too. But I did also see a resistor that was really really hot, right? So I went with removing that resistor first, and to see if anything was gonna happen, but um, that didn't work. The Ethernet still didn't connect. So I said the only two things, the only last thing is is that chip. So I removed the chip. You know, and did that swap and and then put replace put back the the resistor, and I looked at it again uh, under the heat gun. I did not see the heat sensing gun, um, thermal gun. I I did not see that uh, resistor getting hot anymore. So I'm gonna do some testing around there. I'm gonna retest that that. Resistor. But I did, you know, I did take a measurement and it with the, you know, with the measuring uh, device here, and it's fine. It's you know that, that resistor was fine, and you know it was, the numbers are coming out correctly, but it you know it did not uh, overheat. So, so that chip was causing that specific uh, resistor to overheat. I believe there was a short there because I I did when I was testing it I saw that there was a short but I didn't know where it was so it, it, I believe that the, the chip was shorted whatever but either maybe there's another just another short I don't know I have to check so for now I partially got this running I mean it's not you know it's cold because it's not the chips the the it's not mining so I'm gonna mess with it some more today and that's pretty much it for the video guys for today but I did order two more uh, tools I ordered a, a new soldering iron a smaller one like one of the little tiny ones you connect to the USB and I ordered uh, one of these like a plate where it holds motherboards and stuff like that not large boards board you know so I could work with, with it so I could lock it in because I had a lot of trouble with it moving around so that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace, and I'm out. Latest.